Hello, beautiful people. Today we are tackling breathing for tin whistle. Now, I get asked this question all the time, and the question is, what is the correct breathing technique for tin whistle? And really, I never know how to answer because there really is no correct breathing technique, but thankfully there are a few things that you guys can do which might help improve your specific technique on tin whistle. So, let's get started. Firstly, it is important to remember that, depending on whether you're playing a fast song or a slow song, finding the right place to breathe within that song will be different for every single song, and it will also depend on what whistle you're playing and how much air you can get into your body. So there is no one-size-fits-all answer to the correct breathing technique. It really is whatever works for you, whatever works for your whistle, and whatever works for the song you're trying to play. Now, as a basic rule, uh, obviously if you're playing a fast tune, you want to try and get in short, quick, sharp little breaths as and when you can, and when there's a natural pause within the rhythm of the song. So if you're playing a jig or something like that, um, I'll give you a little example on screen now of a jig that I've played. You can see where throughout this I've taken little breaths, and I take them as and when I can. And sometimes there's a really long gap between where you can take a breath, and sometimes you have to miss a note to fit a breath in, depending on your whistle, the tune, and your own personal capabilities. So bear in mind that on fast tunes you might struggle to get a breath in, but if you practice that tune regularly and you put that breath in roughly the same place, you can make a little note on your page if you're following tabs or if you're following sheet music, as long as it's a natural pause in the music, or it's a note that you can leave out and breathe instead, then you'll be absolutely fine. That is for fast tunes. When it comes to slow tunes, again, you do have a little bit more time, but you might find that you have less breath because you're drawing out those long notes. So for example, in this tune, I'll show you now. You'll see that I do have a lot of long notes, a lot of held notes, and it can be difficult in this mellifluous type of tune to get in any decent breaths. <laughs> and if you're holding long notes or high notes, you guys know that we need those beautiful deep breaths. So again, you need to look through the song, you need to consider your own breath capabilities, the whistle you're using, whether it's a high air requirement whistle or a low air requirement whistle, and place those breaths in a natural pause point throughout the song whenever is convenient for you. The second thing you guys can do is obviously choose a whistle that is suitable to your own breath capacity and your own air requirements. There are thousands of different whistle makers out there and each whistle will have different breath requirements. Now, you guys might know that I favour Chris Wall whistles and that is because these whistles literally need no air whatsoever. <laughs> I really like the fact that these whistles are really low breath requirements, so as you're entering the upper octave, not only is the whistle quieter in general, which I find great for confidence and I also find great for practice around the house, not to disturb neighbours, it also means it's easier to hit the high notes. But what you do need is a lot of breath control in order to be able to put that tiny little bit of air through to hit the low notes. Of course, this type of whistle isn't really very good for playing in a loud, session setting because you won't be heard, but for home and for practice and for playing on your own, and even for recording, this is a really useful little whistle. So if you find that 
you're really struggling with the lung power to reach the highest notes on your low whistles or your high whistles, it might be that you've chosen a whistle that doesn't really suit your style of playing and your breath capacity. So you might want to think about a low air requirement whistle, or if you have the lungs of an elephant, <laughs> you might want to find a whistle that you can really let loose on and blow to your heart's content. Um, so yeah, it's not necessarily a problem with you or the whistle, but it might not be the ideal pairing. So consider the type of whistle that is suitable for what you guys are capable of. As an additional point to the mismatch of breath capacity and whistle, some people find that on these uh, whistles that require less air, they have too much air, they have excess air. So they're getting to a point in the song where they basically really feel like they need to breathe out and they're having to leak excess air around the sides of the whistle whilst playing. So for example, it doesn't make for pretty playing and it really leaves you with that breathless sort of feeling. So again, you can try in that respect to take in less air because you don't need as much, or you'd be better off switching to a whistle with a larger air requirement and using that additional power. So play around with whistles and find which one suits your capacity and which one suits the tune you're playing as well. Tip number three is to actually improve the way that you use the air that you have. So for example, um, if you want to play the higher notes on Tin Whistle, a lot of people instantly assume that you need more air, when actually what you need is more pressure and more air speed. So as an example, if you blow onto your hand and you blow hot air onto your hand, you'll find that you can't blow that hot air for very long and there's hardly any force. Even if you try and give force, I mean, it's a really short amount of time. Whereas if you purse your lips and you blow cold air onto your hand, you'll feel that that air will be able to come out for longer, you'll have more control over the length of time it comes out, and it will be more forceful. So you can try different ways of pursing your lips slightly. And this is basically the easiest way to hit the high notes on Tin Whistle, using less air. So by changing the way and the style that you release air from your body, you can actually change the length of time you're able to hold a note and uh, the ease at which you can hit higher notes as well, all within the same breath that you would have used if you'd just blown out hot air. So I'll give you an example. <sighs> nice deep breath. <sighs> How many seconds was that? Two. Nice deep breath again. <sighs> How many seconds was that? Same breath, difference in length of hold, difference in air speed, ease of playing high notes, amazing benefits. Now, one of the most important and most flexible aspects of uh, breath control on Tin Whistle is being able to take a deep breath when you start and having that capacity within you improved over time. Breathing should come from the diaphragm, so it should come from the stomach rather than the chest. So in order to get in a good breath, you need to be breathing and releasing your stomach, expanding your stomach and your rib cage and your lungs down here before you expand and take air into your chest. Now, this is something you do learn if you ever learn theatre as well. The easiest way to start with this is to hold your shoulders down yourself or watch in a mirror so your shoulders aren't rising and breathe out and then breathe in deeply, expanding your stomach and lower chest, lower ribs down here. And once you've done that, you'll find that you can get in a whole load of extra air by raising and lifting your chest as well. So let's start by giving it a go. We need to keep our shoulders down, but we're going to breathe out. These funny faces are not optional. You guys need to do this. Now we're going to breathe in using our stomach. Expand that stomach. You see, I breathed in, but I didn't lift my shoulders, so that's just a stomach breath. Now I can breathe in using this upper part of my body too. <sighs> I 
And now I've got a huge amount of air inside my body. So all of this air, this full torso capacity that I've now created because I breathed in through my lungs and through my stomach and through my lower ribs and chest and then moved into my upper chest and shoulders, I've got so much more air to play with. And this will basically, if you're starting out on a slower tune or faster tune, give you the biggest capacity to start out with, which will let you get further in each song. Now, meditation is a great way to focus on your breathing and improve your capacity. You can start by breathing in for five seconds, holding for five seconds, and then breathing out for 10. You can then gradually increase that. So you breathe in for 10 seconds and hold for 10 seconds and breathe out for 20 perhaps. But there are lots of things you can find online that would help with that. Um, also, if you do want to practice meditation and get in those deep breaths, you guys can listen to some amazing relaxation tunes, which I will link all up here which have tin whistle and Native American flute and nature sounds, and you'll be all relaxed and ready to play. <laughs> Getting in those deep breaths is a great place to start and improving your lung capacity will help you to improve your breath and playing throughout playing tin whistle, and it will improve over time. So definitely one to give a try. One other thing that's important with tin whistle is actually being able to control your breath um, in order to make your playing have empathy and to get the most out of the breath that you've put in. So for example, making clean changes between the octaves is one thing that a lot of beginners struggle with. Um, this can cause a lot of problems when you're playing because you miss notes, because you play the wrong thing, you can have crackling notes and all sorts of breaking and horrible sounds. So the best thing to do is to practice on all of your whistles, but perhaps one particular whistle that you really love to play and practice getting in tune with that whistle by knowing how much air you need for the low notes and then in comparison how much air you need for the high notes. So a great little um, exercise to do is to play the low note and then play the high alternative and really get used to that breath and airflow difference. And then you should be able to hit both octaves every time, no matter what. Another thing you can do with your voice and your breath is things like vibrato, which I do have an entire video on, so I won't cover that here. I will link it up here. You guys can watch that as well. I do go over a lot of breathing techniques in that video too, but you can also vary the amount of air that you put into your whistle within each octave to just give that a little bit of texture. So for example, You can vary the volume you play a low note without even pushing into a high note if you have good breath control. And having that good breath control on each individual note will really allow you to play with the dynamics of Tin Whistle, but it will also give you a little bit of discipline when it comes to taking in breaths throughout the song. So let's give a little example. play around with it, get to know how much you can play around with each individual note before pushing into the next octave or falling back down into the lower octave. That will really, really help your playing. So basically what I'm getting at is don't stress. The easiest way you guys can improve on your breathing throughout Tin Whistle is just to keep practicing and keep playing and play the songs you love and you'll get better and better at those songs and you'll know after a while, I've got space to breathe here, I've got space to breathe there, if I take in a deep breath I'll be fine, if I play on this whistle it'll sound amazing, but don't stress. I hope these tips have helped you. If you haven't, do check me out on Coffee and Patreon, there are links in the description, and uh, you guys can support me even further just to keep this channel going and keep these amazing tutorials coming your way. <laughs> don't forget to check out some of my other videos that I mentioned earlier on in this video about um, relaxing music, about other breath control tips and other finger control tips for Tin Whistle. If you have questions, comments, suggestions, let me know down below. Happy whistling, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.